Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Seeing Andrew and Catherine together reminds me that soulmates do exist. On behalf of Catherine and Andrew and their families, the Soltis family and the Cozzolino family, I thank all of you who have come together today. Isn't it such a dress? I love the doll. I love, I love your dress too. It's so to celebrate with Andrew and Catherine the beginning of their life as husband and wife. Catherine and Andrew, you are so loved by everyone who is here today. I think I can speak for all of us when I say we're so happy you found each other. Andrew, I know that you're a great choice for Catherine, and I'm really happy that you're a part of our family. It's been a privilege for me to companion you through this preparation, not just for this day, but preparation for your marriage. The wedding is just an hour in a day, and the marriage, of course, is for your life. I, Andrew, take you, Catherine to be my wife. I, Catherine, take you, Andrew, to be my husband. I promise. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you. And to honor you. All the days of All my the life. days of my life. And we're so excited for this next chapter in your lives. We know you're going to have so much fun together, and we can't wait to be a part of it. Truth be told, I've been a bit nervous when I was asked to give this speech. Not nervous to stand up here, uh, nervous in being able to encapsulate such an amazing person and the love that he and Catherine share. Growing up, I can't remember back to a time when I didn't absolutely idolize my brother. I wanted to be just like him from day one. He's smart, he's funny, and he's always been adventurous. No one really wants to hang out with their little brother all the time. But the difference was that he did. Or then again, maybe he just tolerated it. So, why did I say nice things about Cox? Well, I never really knew who he was because Catherine hid him from me for quite some time. My wife knew about him, but I didn't know about him. And then at some point in time, she finally told me that she's going out with this guy. And I said, what's his name? And she said, his name is Andrew, but you should call him Cox. And that might be the first time I told, called him Andrew, is right then. I met him. And as I told everybody, and anybody here who's a father of a girl knows, I was very reluctant to like him because who can be good enough for your daughter? But he was okay. And the reason he was okay, 
The reason he was okay was because the first thing I noticed about him, he treated her with respect. And to me, I'm old fashioned. That was very, very important. But honestly, other than our dad, I couldn't have asked for a better role model to grow up with and look up to. He's always shown me what hard work and determination look like, and anyone would be lucky to be half the person he is. That's the reason why he treated her that way. And I, I go it all back to the two of you, and I really appreciate the fact you raised him very well. So, Father touched on something in this homily that I was gonna to touch on. Love, okay? And going back to that respect thing, to me, where, where, where the love comes in is like Father said, Love isn't, all, you're not always patient and all those things. Love is not perfect. But if you love each other, and most importantly, you respect each other, which I think the two of you do, as I watch you interact for the last how many years? Don't worry about the rest. It'll keep going. You guys are perfect. You share the same intensity of dogs with Catherine, and that's like a huge deal for her. Catherine is one of the best friends you could ask for for many reasons. She also has the ability to connect with people and make friends almost immediately. And as you guys all know, Catherine cares deeply and always stands up for what she supports. You are so loved by everyone who is here today. I think I can speak for all of us when I say we're so happy you found each other. So everyone, please raise your glasses and cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Casalino. truly are the kindest people I know, and I'm more than honored to call Catherine my sister. So everyone, please join me in a toast to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Cosolino. We would also like to thank everyone for being here to celebrate this special day with us. We know so many of you traveled from all over the country to be here for us, and we wanted to recognize just how much we appreciate that. We couldn't have imagined a better group of people to spend this day with. However, we only know that she agreed to this because it's illegal to marry your dog in the state of Texas. <laughs> I can live with that, though. <laughs>